Manuel Hassassian, thank you very much for being with us, the PLO representative in London, the European Union. Um, you declared in a very interesting session just now that incrementalism was not the right way to get a peace resolution. Also, you thought that the US could not be an honest broker. Can you expand? Well, first of all, I think you know, I made such statements not based on theory, but based on practice. We as practitioners now, we dealt this tormentuous path of this peace process for the last 22 years. And I think, you know, we needed to make self-assessments. Where do we go from here? What happened? With the Oslo Agreement, we have seen uh, the, the, the changes on the ground and, and, and even the, the contours of this peace process have totally been changed with a brokerage of the United States that could not really bring or narrow the gulf of inequity in the negotiations between the two sides. Because, you know, when you approach this conflict, being pressured by Congress, and I do respect Mr. Kerry and President Obama, their hearts are in the right place for having a conclusive peace comprehensive between the uh, Palestinians and Israelis. But Congress has always been, you know, uh, a spoiler to this. And that's why I don't think the Americans have succeeded in narrowing that gulf of inequity. And I think Israel continued to be above interna international law and continued with impunity, changing the facts on the ground with no pressures from the international community that basically led to the conclusion that this peace process is as a total stalemate and it cannot really be brokered by the United States. I think we have to find other resources, other brokers of peace to get the negotiations going, believing that neither convulsive violence nor military solution could end this conflict. And can the WPC help in ending this conflict? I think the WPC uh, helps a lot because it brings at least the partners to the conflict. And look, I'm very positive. I'm saying the partners to the conflict because I believe that political accommodation is the only solution to this conflict. But, you know, my frustration this year is the fact that such an important conflict, which should be the fulcrum of the problems in the Middle East. I mean, without solving this problem, we, we are going to witness more derailing in the peace process, more derailing into focusing on regional sectarian conflicts that emanate as a result of what is happening in Palestine. And those extremist militant groups that are now, you know, uh, present on the political scene, they came as a result and as an excuse for their ulterior motives using the non-solution of the Palestinian problem. And that's why I think the World Policy Conference uh, is, is important. It's an establishment that could really convey the real messages to the Quai d'Orsay, to Washington and to the, to the United Kingdom that we should move forward with a different strategy, having parity and symmetry between the two nations in conflict. Manuel Hassassin, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank Shukran. you, John.